Yeah, this is a, a message to Mr. Mister, who said that my topics are irrelevant and uh, redundant. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of feel you on that, but, uh, you know, when it comes to, I'm a man in crisis, basically. I suffer from arrested development. I had a father who was in the home who was uh, a Green Beret, and he worked his way up to be high-ranking police official. And But the, the sad part about it is he never spent time with me. You know, uh, like I said, he was in law enforcement for 30 years. Never once took me to the gun range. So what kind of emotional bond do you think he attached to me as a result of that? Um, he, he just, he never taught me anything. I've been, I've been listening to Sean, <clears throat> Sean James, Man Life Skills video, pretty much on auto replay, just re repetitive. He didn't teach me self-discipline. Which is why once I picked up marijuana, I just didn't know how to put it down. You know, yesterday had been my, my birthday. And that was the first birthday I've had since I can remember where I haven't smoked a blunt. Just, I didn't smoke one yet. Why do you think I changed my avatar from the smoking Bob Marley to what Bob Marley, the avatar that I got now? I'm just done smoking out, man. I don't want to do that shit anymore, man. You just grow out of certain things. Another thing that BOA taught me, if you're doing shit that you were doing years ago, you need to get that shit up, man. And I've been smoking marijuana every day for almost 30 years, and it's got me nowhere in life, you know. Um, I haven't built very much. I've had a lot of things given to me. But getting back to the intangibles of manhood, self-discipline he never taught me. He did teach me a work ethic. Like right now, it's 5.55 in the morning, a.m., and I'm ready to go out the door as soon as I'm done this video. I'm going to brush my teeth, and I'm going to start my work day. So both my parents gave me that. They were on their jobs for 30 years, both of them, and never missed a day. Matter of fact, my father, he saved up all his um, sick days and... Uh, cashed him out at the end so he had like a year and a half that the city of Wilmington had to pay him for his vacation time and his sick time they actually implemented a rule that you can't do that now um, but he did not teach me how to respond to emotional situations he just taught me how to react I remember there will be many cases that I'll share with you guys but I remember the first time I thought it was manly to get angry was when my parents were set to go on, go out on a dinner date with uh, his partner on the police force and his wife and then my mother and father. So when my mother uh, made the reservations, they didn't have any more. And I remember when she told my dad, he just took the kitchen table and just threw it across the floor into the stove, breaking the glass in the stove. And what was a little bit more embarrassing was I had that guy's, uh, his son. We were playing together. And then my sister nonchalantly comes out and says, yeah, Kenny, uh, my mom has to take you home because my dad got upset and threw the uh, kitchen table through the stove. And, you know, I thought that that was male behavior. You get mad, you break things, you yell, you scream. You don't know how many times I've been in uh disciplinary meetings on my jobs that I've had and I would get upset do that R Kelly shit right there in the uh in the inter in the interview pro not the interview but like when they're sitting me down to discipline me before they were you know they they didn't want to fire me they just tried to discipline me and I would get up and get emotional and do that R Kelly shit man there's more shit I can talk about I will talk about it but I got to get ready to go to work I don't like making long videos cuz I don't want to you know, uh, you know, become redundant and say the same thing over and over.
So I'm just going to end this video by saying I didn't get the intangibles of manhood other than a work ethic. And I think it was one other one that I got too. But I didn't get the discipline. I didn't get to learn how to not be reactionary. And what else didn't I get? It'll come to me. But I, I know I didn't get most of the intangibles of manhood. And um, basically, I'm working on being a, a man for myself. And I can't really pass on information on how to make men better men because I got to do it for myself now. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll still be putting out videos on subjects that I want to put them out on. But right now, it's just what he said to me yesterday on that comment section at the end of my um, the video that I made about Dr. BOA helped me out by letting me be aware that young women are not the prize anymore. So, you know, I went to bed thinking about that, man. So I'm basically addressing you on it. Not mad at you, though, because you came at me the right way by saying no disrespect. So, you know, I didn't take it disrespectfully, but yeah, I'm just letting you know, bro.